Welcome to video 200 in series 3 and now we're going to set up the Unity car. Alright, so no, at the end of this video you won't have a drivable car, but you will have progress there. You'll have at least uh, set it up so that uh, we can start putting scripts on it. What you need to do is to import package, vehicles, and I'm not going to bring in the uh, aircraft. I am just going to bring in uh, just the cars. Okay, good. So that's it. Uh, and just import. Away we go. And I'll need to move that as well. All right. So it's imported. And let me just drop that in, move it to the other folder. So I made the mistake of uh, having the standard assets folder within uh, this structure here. Really, it's best to just leave the standard assets folder where it wants to be. And uh, life is uh, simpler then, but it's not really that much more complicated. Uh, okay, so going into the cars folder, uh, we've got a prefab there. So just drop that into the uh, scene and break the prefab instance. There we go. Uh, and remove the tag player. Just set that to untagged. Give it a new layer. Add that layer. Uh, add layer and just call it the vehicle. All right. Good. Now we can leave the car controller as it is. So just disable the car user control, so that way you can't actually use your WASD keys to affect it in any way right now. I will just add a box collider while I'm at it. This is a is trigger collider, so that uh, your well the thing can be shot basically, so that stuff can shoot at the car. And. I really should go towards it. Okay, so it's out sitting in the middle of nowhere. So let me just move it, reset its position, go back to it. Good. Okay, it's in a sensible place in the scene. Actually, no, it's not. So let me just move it over here out of the way a little bit. Good. Um, all right, so now for this collider, uh, I don't think that's quite right. Uh, the one that I've just added. Now, the, what it's showing is this one. So let me just Try and hide that a little bit. Okay, good, that worked. I'll, I'll enable that in just a bit. I shouldn't forget to. Okay, so two, I'm gonna increase the width of it. I'm gonna make the length a lot longer. I need to push that up when I do like 0.8, and it's just a bit too tall. So I'm just gonna set it to something like that. Okay, so that was a 2.8, 0.8, and a five. Okay, so going back to the colliders here. Now these are the actual colliders, they must be there. Uh, at least one, so that the vehicle can behave properly, otherwise you'll do fo see funny things happen. Uh, as for this bottom collider though, it's a little bit uh, big, I think, so in the scale. So I might just uh, adjust that a little bit, uh, so an X to 2, a Z to like 4, perhaps that's alright. That's the bottom collider bottom in the car. Uh, the other stuff, lights, nothing to worry about. Particles, nah, don't worry about it. Helpers, ignore it. That's for the Unity camera. Uh, Skycar is actually the model pieces. Uh, I like to just make a different material. Um, I mean, you don't have to at all. Uh, in my case, I'll just very quickly do that. I mean, I won't waste your time looking at uh, me apply that material. So let me just at least show you what I'm going to do. Black uh, metal, I'll just call it. And just set that color right down to black and set the metallic all the way up and that's it i'm just going to start applying uh, this black metal uh, to the car anyway i won't waste your time with that so just give me a moment okay done so i've just added uh, the materials that i wanted now i'm going to add in an empty game object and leave it at its position that it's at which is zero 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 and uh, i'm going to call this cabin and just disable it okay Okay, next I'm going to add another empty game object, and I'm going to call this uh, Ray Transform Pivot Forward. I'll explain in just a bit. I'll set the height of that to 0.5 and the Z to 2.2. Okay, so this is going to be uh, the point at which I'm going to fire a ray constantly from this car while it's being used, and it's going to be used for smashing through stuff. So the ray will fire out a very short distance, and uh, when it touches something, it'll uh, you look at the uh, the velocity of the car and apply an appropriate damage uh, to whatever is in front. Okay, 
And so I'm not using the actual colliders for that because uh, you need to increase the physics time step and that just becomes very expensive to rely on that. So a uh, array cost is much cheaper uh, to have that continuously running and so I prefer to do it that way. And what I should probably is, as well explain is that this is for destructibles. So anything that's destructible in the S3 systems will be affected by this ray. All right, so I'm going to make another one. And this is called ray transform pivot rear. So I'll have another ray. So just turn it around. Its Y rotation should be... 180, set the height to 0.5, and set the Z to, uh, I think maybe minus 2.5 or thereabouts, something like that. Yeah, okay. So obviously, when you're reversing, you want it to also smash stuff as well, because, uh, well, it just makes it more fun, rather than a fence being able to stop the car, uh, as an example. Okay, I'm going to add another empty game object, and this is, I'll just say, set the height up. And uh, I set it to 3, Y3. Okay. And I'm going to call this camera target. Okay. And uh, I really ought to make a prefab out of this car. So going, going to the prefabs folder, I will make a vehicles subfolder. And inside of that, drop this car. Now I need to add another thing, a, a nav mesh obstacle. Very important. Without this, when the NPCs are walking around, they will just walk through the car. Well, they won't walk through it, rather. Because they have a collider on it, they'll actually bump the car and look really silly that they're able to, like, you know, it could be a big truck and a little NPC comes and knocks the whole truck out uh, flying away, which is really silly, of course. So you add a nav mesh obstacle so that while this is sitting on the nav mesh, which is which it is all the time, basically, uh, it won't, the NPCs will actually walk around it. But what I do do is that when the player gets in it, so once it's driving, then I turn off that nav mesh obstacle, uh, so that way, uh, when you're trying to drive through the enemies, they don't suddenly just get pushed out of the way because the nav mesh is doing the correct stuff. Uh, instead, they, the NPC don't realize that it's a nav mesh obstacle anymore, and you're able to apply damage to them. So that's really the main stuff covered there. Now I need to make, I need to fracture this. So go ahead, uh, like, like I showed you a long while back, get that uh, Blender, the fracturing version of Blender, open that up, import this model. Go and find this model, import it, and I'll get back to you in just a bit. Okay, so here I am in Blender. This is the Scorpion 81 version of Blender, which has the fracture module in it. And, uh, I've got some work to do. Now, if we look in the uh, tree over here, we can see that there's a bunch of stuff in it that uh, I don't need. I only need the sky car body. So I'm going to just uh, go through each of these and delete them. So I won't waste your time with that. Okay, done. So I just quickly deleted all of those. I'll just jump into edit mode for a moment. Just make sure to remove uh, any doubles. So yeah, there were doubles there in the vertices. And going back to uh, object mode, I need to uh, solidify this thing. So this uh, model here, it's uh, basically infinitely thin. And uh, for it to fracture properly, it needs to be solidified. So go for it to the solidify modifier and uh, just add the thickness to something like 0.2. I think that's what I've done. Or I'll just put it up a little bit more. Okay, and that's it. So it's been made artificially thicker now. Uh, another thing is, yeah, I'll just use that material. I was wondering about that because I'd used my uh, black material. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Coming back here, going to the fracture, because I can just set that in Unity. It's no big deal. I just needed to see. I just needed to see what the name is, and you'll see why in just a moment. Going to fracture, uh, I'm going to select... Uh, this one, bisect plus fill, because I want the cut edges to be filled. Uh, I might just put the shard count down to maybe like 7, minimize the number of stuff. Now, this inner material is important, and I'm going to put that sky car body white. 
And so hopefully then uh, the inner material of the cut face and the rest of it is all the same. I don't, I don't want a different material. It's no need for that. Uh, just a bit wasteful. Okay, execute fracture. And then I'm going to, once it's done, I'm going to convert it to uh, a bunch of separate bodies. Okay, so convert it to objects. All right. And let me just hide the sky car body, which is the complete thing. It keeps it there. All right. So, uh, yeah, okay. So that's pretty much it. I don't think I was after anything else. So let me undo that. And I can now export this. I'll just save it as a Blender file back in Unity. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. All right, so I just made a new My Models folder, brought in that uh, fractured car model, just drop it into the car there. And uh, what I'll also do is, oh, and I need to turn it around. So set that rotation to 180. Okay, so it matches now. I get rid of this animator component and delete this guy car body. That's what's causing the warning message there. Uh, something I probably should have done as well is to have clicked in inside of Blender to gone through each and clicked it uh, in the, put it in the edit mode and then removed vertices, uh, the doubles again. So that can sometimes get rid of uh, additional doubles that, uh, well, they have no purpose. Okay, so uh, all of these are sky car body white. So in my case, uh, I just want to change that material to the black metal. There we go. All right. And uh, I need to add a rigid body, of course, for the destructible system. And uh, let me just put the mass up there to something. And uh, I also need to put in a collider. I'm just going to put box colliders uh, in there. And uh, yeah, okay, fine. That's, that's it. It's automatically sized. What I also want to do, uh, just before I forget, um, is I do want to put in, uh, I want to copy the wheels. Right, so there are the wheels. Just duplicate them and throw them in the fractured car bit. Okay, now for each of these wheels, again, add the rigid body and the box collider. So I should have done that first, really. But uh, no matter. Just adding it in now. I just put something. Okay, good. So now when it uh, breaks up, the wheels are there, but they're not round, so they won't. I mean, you could put a nice round collider, so then they would uh, potentially, you know, just roll along the ground. Uh, now let's uh, just disable that. That's the fractured bit done. Good. Apply the changes. And I suppose I could just put on the destructible scripts as well while I'm at it. So yes, I do want to activate shards. No, I don't want collision detection. Otherwise, you can ram into stuff. I mean, you could put it on, and what will happen is, is when the car rams into stuff, it'll take damage and will blow up eventually. Uh, then not degenerate. Yes, I want explode. Uh, yes, I want health. A uh, low health effect, not necessary. Yes, particle spawn. Uh, a sound. Yes, take damage. Yes. All right. Uh, now for each of these, the shards are, of course, the car fractured. Yes, they should disappear. Explosion range. I'll set to like 30. Uh, whoops, not 30. 30. Explosion force, 100 damage to anything nearby 35 the health i can set that i'll just put that to something low but i'm going to bump it to like 2000 in a bit uh to just to make it a lot stronger otherwise when you get near the uh npcs while driving it'll blow up so explosion i'm just going to use the explosion barrel uh explosion effect uh sound i wonder what sounds i have do i have something like missile Nothing like that. Explosion. Oh, whatever. Just put something for now. I mean, you would bring in a proper sound for the job. Uh, oh, hold on. Is that it? Okay. So I'll just apply these changes, save it, jump in, and test that out. All right. Change to a different weapon. Okay, perfect. So that is working. Yes, it's a destructible object, uh, but yeah, you can't drive it at the moment. So that's what the rest of this chapter is about. Okay, so that's it for this video. Sorry, it's gone for a fair bit, uh, but thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.